Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video on microfiber cloths and towels. I got a lot of emails uh, asking questions as far as what I use and you know what I have in my garage. And I pretty much put everything out on the table that I have on hand today. And there's a lot of stuff that's on the table that I use regularly. And then there's stuff that I no longer use anymore because I think it sucks. So I want to walk you guys through each and every item that's on the table, explain to you what I use it for, why I use it, and why I continue to use it. And then I'm also going to show you the stuff uh, down in the row, in the front row, that I don't use anymore just because I don't think they're really that good of um, you know, microfiber towels for any of my needs. So I use a lot of this stuff not just to detail cars. I use it for my business, whether I'm you know, doing architectural work or, or surface finishing uh, work. Or even if I have to go down to a gallery in New York City and I have to go touch up a sculpture or, or whatever I get called upon. Everything on the table has a purpose and I use everything for a specific need. So the whole trick to this discussion that I want to go into now is that you don't need to spend $300, $400, $500 on microfiber. That is ridiculous. You just don't need to do that. Microfiber towels, no matter what you spend on them, they're consumables. They're going to get trashed. They're going to get thrown in the trash. I don't believe in keeping microfibers very long. Uh, that's just the way I am. I mean, because you run the risk of cross-contaminating projects, whatever you're working on. And to be honest with you, they just don't hold up. You know, they're not going to last you 10 years. Forget about that. But a lot of the stuff on the table, you know, is very, very affordably priced. The most expensive items that are on the table are the Griot's PFM towels. The towel on the left, which is the ultimate drying towel. And then I have the detail towel that's next to the orange drying towel at the top row. Uh, those are the most expensive ones here. Everything else is relatively affordable. Uh, we have a batch of 50 uh, cheap microfiber towels. That is mandatory no matter what type of, type of work you do. You need a batch of 50 of these whether you're going to be detailing exhaust tips, you're going to be doing any kind of metal polishing, uh, you want to detail your engine, your engine compartment where you might, you're going to get oil. I use these when I detail suspensions on any of my vintage cars just because you know I'm like real crazy with that stuff. Uh, you know, you, you just use it once, maybe twice, and then chuck it. Get rid of it. You don't ever want to cross-contaminate this towel with the painted surface on your car, with the interior on your car, uh, or with any other fine surface, whether it's a piece of furniture, a piece of jewelry, a sculpture, any, anything of the sort. So those are mandatory. I mean, for what those cost, they're 20 bucks. You get a batch of 50. It's well worth it. Those are going to last you a while, uh, and, and that's pretty much where it's at. Now, the Griot's Garage PFM towel, the drying towel, it's 40 bucks back there. It is the best drying towel that I've used. Maybe there's something else out there that's equivalent or better or cheaper, but to be honest with you, I tried them all. I haven't found one yet that works better than that one, so that's a keeper. I have eight of those in stock. Uh, the towel in front of that is a Chemical Guys, um, I don't know what the hell it's called, some sort of super shag towel. This is classified as a drying towel. It absolutely sucks. The worst drying towel I ever used for two reasons. Number one, it attracts so much water and gets so damn heavy that you have to wring it out about 15 times to just dry a car. It never leaves the car streak free. And on a black car, I always get lint on that towel. The only reason I still have that towel is because I use that towel to put down on any of my cars when I'm working under the engine compartment. I lay that towel down on the fender or on the rear of the car before I put a vinyl fender protector down. That's all I use that towel for. I don't use it to clean. I don't use it to dry. I don't use it to polish. Uh, maybe I'll wrap you know, something that's real fragile if I have to transport it somewhere. I'll wrap it in that towel with some blankets. Other than that, that's the only thing I use that for. So that towel, to me, was a huge waste of money. I got rid of four of those. I only have one left. And like I told you, I just use it for that one specific purpose. Uh, the uh, orange towel in the back, that's a Chemical Guys drying towel. They call it like the super dry towel. That's actually a pretty decent drying towel for what it is. I think it's like 16 bucks. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good size. It works really well. I don't use that anymore since I started using the PFM towels for the fact that the orange towel, you have to wring it out a lot and they don't last very long, especially when you wash those even by hand and you hang dry them. They just lose their effectiveness and they become junk. I use that towel and the yellow towels, the two in front, these are both larger size drying towels. I use those when I'm doing any kind of um, you know, spray detailing work 
you know, on a large surface, whether it's a hood of a car, the roof of the car, whatever, I'll use those to give it a once over. I don't use those to dry anymore. I just don't think they're as effective and as good as the PFM towels. And like I said, I'm all about efficiency and maximizing, you know, my time. The towel on the right, those three rows of, of yellow towels, I use those on a regular basis. Those are my top consumable towels in my bin. The ones on the left, I believe those are like a 400 GSM double-sided chemical guys towel. The ones next to them are a little bit shaggier. And then the ones on the right are a double-sided, very soft, um, I believe it's about a 600 or 800 GSM towel. It's got a yellow side on one side and a gray side on the other side. I use these two here uh, to remove any kind of waxes and polishes from the surface. Uh, you know, no matter what kind of project I'm working on, if I'm doing any kind of buffing, compounding, color correcting, I use these towels to get any, you know, any residue off the surface. And then if I'm doing any kind of wax work or wax applications, I will use the one in the middle and then I use the one in the end. Usually the one on the end I use on black cars or dark colored cars or you know, if I'm going to polish a piano or going to do anything that's a large surface and I want to give it a real delicate good once over. Those are the three that I use and they're relatively affordable. I mean, I go through these a lot and you can see over there I have a pile of them. You know, once they get trashed, they go into the trash pile and then I use them for, you know, scrap stuff, whether I'm, you know, polishing a piece of metal or an exhaust tip or, or something that's not very, you know, important as far as, you know, cross-contaminating, you know, whether it's a, a screws or nuts and bolts or a bracket that I, I want to, you know, polish on my buffer and then I just want to give it a once over. You know, it becomes, a, it becomes a scrap towel. When those get trashed, they go in the garbage. Don't use them anymore. The blue towel down there, uh, the baby blue towel, I got that from Chemical Guys or, or Griots. I believe it was designated for, um, for like window cleaning. To be honest with you, I don't like them. I think they suck. I don't use those anymore. That's the last one I have left. Um, like I said, I, I didn't give it away. I just use it for a scrap if I ever need it. The purple towel is very similar to the baby blue towel, except the purple towel has a longer strand, um, you know, microfiber. It's not very heavy. It's actually very light. It's a terrible towel if you're going to use it to remove wax or any kind of spray detailer. You know, I, I really use those purple towels or any of this if I'm doing something very delicate, something that's not, um, that doesn't have a lot of residue to get off. I'll use those. But like I said, I don't think I'll ever going to buy the purple towels again. Once those get trashed, I'm done with them. Now, the towels in the first row, you have a red towel with the green stripe. That's just a generic microfiber. I mean, it's, it's a decent towel. But to be honest with you, for what those cost, I get batches of 12 of the yellow ones. And it just seems to be more affordable. And I just like those a lot better. And I also like the lighter color. So when you're working on projects, you know, when it gets soiled, it's always good to have a lighter color to see what you're doing. Because like I said, with the red ones, if you do get something on there, you may not be able to see it. And you could cross-contaminate something. If you're, let's say, polishing metal, you know, on your buffer, with that towel and it gets thrown into your bin, you may accidentally try to take wax off your car. And if there's any metal particular in that towel, you're going to scratch your car up. So, you know, these are good to have around. But to be honest with you, I stick with the yellow ones. And then I designate between the first batch and the second batch and the third batch. Those are the ones that I use on a regular basis. I've been using them for many, many years. And I love them. The pink towel here, uh, that's just a pretty much another version of the inexpensive cheap microfibers. Like I said, I don't really use this anymore. I just buy the batch of 50, and they're, you know, color-coded. So the color coding is good if you want to use the blue ones for glass, you want to use the yellow ones for, you know, metal polish, you want to use the green ones for, you know, windows or, or whatever you want. And then the orange ones, you could use some, you know, spray detail or some all-purpose cleaner, water down, and then you could dust off, your, you know, your leather interior, your dash, whatever you have on the interior of your car. The blue towel and the black towel, they're pretty much identical. Both of those are from Chemical Guys. I don't use any of those, those anymore for two reasons. The blue ones, they just don't remove residue as good as they should. Uh, it's pretty much an over-glorified cheap towel that they just put some nice uh, edge banding on it. So they, they're charging you a lot more money for that. I don't like that towel anymore. The black towel, I bought it on a whim. And uh, I learned my lesson on that a long time ago when I was doing a project uh, for a gallery where you know I, I kept cross-contaminating what I was polishing. And it was driving me nuts. And I said to myself, why the hell did I buy a black towel? Because you can't see if it gets soiled. You can't see what you're doing. 
you don't know what chemicals or what compounds or what materials on that towel. So I don't know. That's just me. Like I, I think having a black towel is, is not really a smart idea. Uh, I, like I said, black conceals everything. So why would you want to conceal the towel? Because the towel could be trashed. You could have loads of brake dust in that towel from cleaning your wheels and you won't even know it. And then let's say you go to apply that to your paint or to your interior. You're going to make a mess. Absolute mess. So I don't recommend the black towels. And I remember when I first got those, uh, the first time I washed them, you know, the, the, the color came out all over the place. It totally made a mess out of my washing machine. So these towels up front, not a big fan of them. I don't use them anymore. The purple towel is good to have around. You know, if you're doing furniture, uh, you're doing a very, very fine, delicate surface. That's a good towel to have around. Uh, I have over there some microfiber mitts. I don't really use those anymore. Um, that's usually for some delicate work. Believe it or not, I got those from a gallery in Chelsea, Manhattan. Uh, we were doing a project and we had to move some stuff around and they handed those to, to me and my helper at the time to lift these sculptures and transport them out. And I, I thought those things were a joke. They're super soft, not sure of the manufacturer. Uh, you know, some guys do use those to wash the car, but I don't think those are gonna be good to wash a car. Uh, maybe you could stick your hand in there and you know take the wax off your car a little bit easier, but I don't know, to me, it just doesn't feel comfortable. It's not something that I would wanna use on a regular basis, but I keep them around you know, in case I get called for a job and I need to, you know, I know that the galleries start to use those things to move things around. So I throw them in my car so I'm prepared if I need them. Um, I hope you got a little bit of good detail as far as what I use, why I use it, and the stuff that I no longer use. And I wanna put a link to the stuff that I use in the video below because you can spend about a hundred bucks and get most of the stuff that I use all this other crap you don't need so the 50 pack is 20 bucks the PFM drying towel is 40 bucks you can get two of the PFM detailing towels for 20 bucks so now you're at 20 60 80 now you're at 80 bucks so now you have $20 left you could get a 12 pack of those yellow towels you know which I use for you know pretty much anything and then those other ones on the right, the double colored ones, the gray and the yellow, uh, those are about like six bucks each. They're relatively affordable. So, you know, for a hundred bucks, if you guys, you know, need to replenish what you have in your garage, uh, you know, that'll pretty much do everything you need. And if you want to spend a little bit more, yeah, you can stock up on some more of those and, and more of those and whatnot. But, you know, the stuff down here, I don't recommend it. I, I just don't think it performs for what you need. And I think there's better alternatives that are cheaper. Um, like I explained in this video and uh, you know the yellow drying towels uh, ones from Griot's ones from chemical guys I don't think they work really well I just don't think they work well enough because the price difference between those and a PFM is maybe 10 to 15 percent and when you're you know you're talking just a few bucks you know between 12 bucks uh, of a difference I rather see you guys spend the money on the, the better towel than get these on you know like a backup towel or something you want to just you know generally dry stuff off um, you know, if you're going to blow dry the car, the orange towel works well. Uh, but I still think the PFM towel works the best out of all, of, as far as all of the drying towels. And as far as wax removal, uh, the PFM towel works outstanding. I like to use the two cheaper towels, the yellow ones, just because, like I said, you, if you're going to trash the towel, you don't mind throwing away the cheap ones. You don't want to throw away the $20 towel or the $40 towel. I mean, those are the ones that you're going to want to, you know, preserve and take good care of. So... I use one PFM towel, the smaller ones, to detail my wheels. I use the other one to take off waxes, glazes, and, and anything else on the, on the painted surface. So uh, there you got it, folks. That's pretty much everything I got on hand. Um, I hope some of this stuff makes sense because, like I said, some guys out there are spending hundreds and thousands on towels. And they're, you know, there's a lot of marketing hype. We're saying it's the best drying towel in the world and it's the best wax removal towel in the world. And... Like, to be honest with you, a lot of it's marketing hype. It's, it's such BS. You know, I get a lot of stuff from, you know, chemical guys. I get stuff from griots. I get stuff from other manufacturers. You know, and, and they work well, but not every towel is going to be as good as they claim it's going to be. And you guys got to understand something. It's a towel. It's only supposed to do, you know, a couple of simple tasks. It's not supposed to do anything special. It's not going to, you know, make a better shine in your car or anything like that. It's just there to do a task. It's a consumable you're going to use it. You're going to trash it. Eventually, it's going to get replaced. So don't go crazy buying into the marketing hype. You know, I thought the Griot's PFMs were all marketing hype until I tried them. Now I swear by them. I swear by those towels. I, I will never use another drying towel ever unless that gets replaced with something even better, which I don't even know how that's even possible. But 
Uh, this is pre pretty much what I got. This is my little discussion here. And uh, like I said, spend about 100 bucks. Get yourself some real towels. And, and don't look back. Don't be buying into the hype that's out there. You know, there's a lot of crap. Uh, like catalogs like Griot's and, you know, stuff like, you know, a lot of these online shops, they'll have the same towel in like eight different colors. And then they'll have eight different descriptions for the same towel. And then the prices are different between all of them. It's the same towel. So I think it's a lot of BS. And, and a lot of guys get misled into that. And, you know, it's just false marketing. And there's a lot of that, you know, going on with the auto detailing industry, especially for the consumer market. Because, you know, for the, for the professional market, I mean, you know, everybody knows what to use and what they're going to use. They don't really, you know, follow up what's going on on forums and websites and all of that. So we pretty much just stick with what works. But, uh, you know, don't get, don't get taken in by the marketing that's out there. You don't have to spend three to $500 on an ultimate microfiber package. You just don't need it. it. It's a total waste of money. You can spend 100 bucks, 150 tops. You'll get yourself replenished. You'll have enough stuff on hand that you can pretty much, you know, do your, do your cars for the next year or two. And uh, like I said, when they get trashed, just, you know, throw them in the pile over there and use them for something else. And then, you know, just replenish them. Just some close-up detail of some of the towels. Like I said, these are the cheap ones. I get these on Amazon. I mean, they're so cheap. You know, they come color-coded. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, these aren't the greatest drying towels, but they're not designated for that. These are good for, you know, metal polish, um, you know, simple things. You want to clean the barrels of your rims. You want to do like the rim detailer, you know, with some Prepsol. You use it, you throw it in the trash, move on with life. This is the, uh, the Super Shag Chemical Guys towel, the one that I told you that absolutely sucks. It's, it's really soft. It feels like a chenille blanket, but it, it just doesn't dry the car really well. It gets too heavy and lints like crazy. Uh, this is the Griot's PFM towel. This is my favorite. This doesn't feel as soft as this towel. It feels very similar to the orange towel, but the Griot's towel has definitely got a chemical treatment to the fibers because when I washed the first time I got them, it was like a milky um, you know, substance came out of these. So there's definitely a chemical treatment. These are made in Vietnam, believe it or not. Most of the st other stuff is made in China. Uh, you're not going to find any of this stuff made in America, that's for sure. Uh, these are, this is the Griot's Garage drying towel. It's got a thicker mat, nap on one side and a smoother on the other. doesn't really dry the car very well, so I don't use those anymore. Uh, this is a Chemical Guys drying towel. It's pretty much the, the same towel that Griot's is using with probably a slight different variation in the dye lot of whoever made these. I mean, it's got the same, you know, the silk edge banding on both towels. So these are identical, except the Griot's charges you a lot more money for them. Uh, these are the ones that I use regularly from uh, Chemical Guys. These are the 16 by 16, which is pretty much the same material as their drying towel. Uh, but like I said, when you buy these in batches of 12, they're, they're relatively affordable. So these are great to remove wax, um, you know, spray wax, glazes, anything like that off a surface. This one here is a similar towel. It's almost identical, but you can see the color difference. They're slightly different. This has a little bit more orange in it. This is more yellow. This has a little bit of a longer nap a little bit thicker of a GSM. This is my towel of choice when I'm doing any kind of wax removal. When I use a colonite, when I use uh, any cleaner wax, anything like that, this is, the wa this is the towel that I like to use. And uh, this is the other one from the Chemical Guys. I'll show you this here. This is super soft. It's got a you know, somewhat decent you know, nap to it. Uh, and it's got two sides. So the cool thing about having the two sides is like if you're going to use one side to remove the wax or you're going to do a final glaze and then you want to use the, the final, you know, the gray side if you're going to do like a spray detailer to make sure all the residues off, you could kind of designate one towel to do, you know, two different tasks and not worry about cross-contamination. So I think this is a great towel. I've been using these for years. Uh, I buy a lot of these. Uh, and like I said, this is the junk pile, which you can see, they get trashed. These are those ultra soft ones. These are from Griot's. Like I said, you know, these are, I believe, are designated for, um, for glass. I don't, I don't like these anymore. I just don't like them. Same thing with this one. I don't use these anymore as well. Uh, and then these are the ones that I don't recommend for anyone because, like I said, this is just an overpriced version of this. Uh, this one here is from Griot's. Same deal. This is an overpriced version of these. And then the blue and the black towels are pretty much identical. I just don't like the darker color just because you can't tell if they're soiled. The black is a horrible idea. I don't recommend a black towel for anybody. I don't even care if you're using it for your shower. Uh, I just think it's a bad idea because you're not going to know if this towel is, is totally trashed or soiled or whatnot. Uh, this is the, the purple one. 
Uh, the purple one is very similar to the baby blue one here. I mean, this is this is good to have. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to buy these again because they're they're just flimsy. They're not very stout. I don't see this towel ever holding up. But if you're going to do like, you know, you have a black car, something that's really, really delicate finish, whether it's like a single stage finish or a lacquered finish, and you want to give it a good once over, this would probably be the towel of choice. I would either use the purple one. If I didn't have this one around and I only had the purple one, I would use the purple one. But for the most part, when I'm on the, when I'm on the road and I'm on site, I usually take this towel, this towel, this towel, this towel, this one, and this one. This one I just use to wrap stuff up, like I told you. And uh, this one I throw in my tool bag, you know, when I'm on the road, if I have to do something on site and, you know, I don't mind trashing them. Uh, these, you know, these towels just go along with me. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys uh, got some good information here and to make some better decisions when you buy this stuff. I mean, it's not rocket science. Just don't overspend. Uh, you know, pick out some good stuff. You know, don't listen to all the descriptions because a lot of it's misleading. And I bought all of this stuff. And I was like, like this one here, oh, the best drawing towel. This thing sucks. This was the, the, the biggest waste. I bought four of these at one time. And the, the three of them that I used to have, I used them to soak up oil. That's how, that's how I couldn't care. I just wanted to get rid of them. And I, instead of using paper towels, I said, fuck it. I'm just going to use these because I hate these towels. They're useless. And then I just keep one, you know, when I'm laying it on my car before I put the fender uh, protector on. So that's pretty much what I do with it. So hope you guys had a great day. Any questions, comments, uh, post them below. Thanks.